Hey, I'm Sandra from Chime, and this is Caitlin from the Mindful Hub. She's a yoga instructor here, and we have brought Caitlin into uh, the mix today to help us because we all know that a good night's sleep means so much to our overall health, and we struggle, whether it's blue light, whether it is uh, television, which stress. All of these things combine to make sleep well, a little challenging. So you have come to the rescue, and uh, today you're gonna teach us some restorative yoga. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell me what the key things that we need to know when going into this. Like, do I need any special equipment? Do I need any special training? Okay, the best thing about restorative yoga is it's just relaxed, it's at ease. So if you think of regular yoga, a lot of the time we think, am I doing this right? Is my knee in the right place? Like, are my arms straight? And it can be very, you know, tense. So you overthink it. Exactly. Restorative is the best part about it, which can also be the hardest part, is you don't have to think about anything. <laughs> so really, we're going into this, I could close my eyes and just, you will guide me through? Absolutely. It's not hard? It's not hard. Um, you don't need any props, and I actually, in this yoga session we're gonna do, you can do it on your bed. You can grab a pillow, grab a blanket, you can literally be on your bed. Amazing. Maybe your husband or your partner is beside you and they're reading, and you're like, I'm just gonna do my restorative yoga and you grab your pillow and you go for it. Amazing, now if um, I'm starting a kind of a more mindful uh, set of routines before I go to bed, am I doing meditation pre-yoga or would I do a meditation like afterwards? I would do meditation after. A lot of the time our brain is going, going, going and then we sit down and we try and meditate. Maybe it's to an app, maybe it's just a quiet one by yeah. ourselves and we can't seem to get our body to stop fidgeting. Like all of a sudden our eyes are closed and we have an itch on our arm and we're like, why do we have that itch? Like yep. our body's trying to yep. say like, I can't sit here right now. So if we go through some motions first, even if they're really slow and restorative, it helps kind of get that, like get those jitters, get those like, you know, weird motions out first. Yep. And then at the end of it in Shavasana, you'll see, I'll take you in Shavasana, or you can go directly to bed after. Um, that's a good time when you're laying there to do meditation. However, you probably will fall asleep. So if that's your goal, it's good. But if not, it might be a good idea to just sit up, keep your eyes closed though, and then go into your, your meditation. Amazing. So Caitlin is here at the Mindful Hub. If you are interested in taking a class with her, maybe you're interested in doing some meditation because you do offer that at the Mindful Hub, correct? I do meditation in with my sessions. Oh. So I don't do like full on meditation sessions because I like to combine it a bit. Um, I just noticed that Again, people were rushing in. Maybe they were five minutes, ten minutes late. They were sitting down, and then we were like trying to meditate. And I was like, okay, I need to do a little bit of movement first. <laughs> that makes sense. So that's what I do here. And then I also offer Reiki as well. So if someone wants to get in touch with you, what do they do? You can go to mindfulhub.ca. Um, you can also find me on Facebook under Caitlin Rutledge and Instagram, caitlin.edge.lifestyle, all the things. Awesome, Caitlin. Yeah. Thank you so much. Let's hit our mat. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin. Thank you so much for joining me for our restorative class for nighttime. It's just gonna be a nice 10 minute routine that you can do before you go to bed. I actually recommend you doing this in bed just to get you nice and calm while you're in the bed. You can also do it on the floor, but it's kind of nice when you have your pillows around you, your blankets, and who knows, maybe you'll fall asleep during your restorative class. <laughs> So if you want, you can tuck your pillow underneath your sit bones, right under your bum, and you can pull the fleshy bits out from underneath of your bum as well. Just as we get started, beautiful. So you can place your hands, palms down on your knees for some grounding, or you can keep them nice and open. We're just gonna gently, I invite you to close your eyes. allowing you to tune into your breath, maybe rolling those shoulders back and down. So we're just gonna do a little body scan here, starting from the crown, the top of our head, and just coming all the way down. I want you to notice all the little muscles in your face, and we're just gonna relax them as we move through the body. So starting with the forehead, relaxing the forehead, the eyebrows, the eyes, letting go of all the tension in your cheeks and in your mouth, your jaw, Letting that 
open just a little bit so it's not clenched together. Your neck and your shoulders, relaxing those. Coming all the way down to your heart and your chest. Moving our way to our belly and our stomach. Just allowing it to relax and release after a long day. Coming down to our hips and our thighs. Allowing those knees to relax. Maybe they open a little bit more, maybe they don't. Coming to the calves and all the way down to the feet. You can keep your eyes closed if you want here and you're just gonna give your feet a little massage. So starting underneath, maybe you're at the heel, using both hands. Good, coming to the toes, just giving them some love. We don't often give our feet enough attention for what they do for us in a day. Really getting underneath the arch where a lot of pressure is, a lot of walking. And coming to the other foot if you haven't switched already or if you're doing both, just keep going. To the toes, massaging out those heels and the arch. Beautiful. And when you're done, hands can come to the knees. And just I invite you to set your own intention for this restorative class. Maybe it's to have a restful sleep tonight. Maybe it's to feel nice and calm. Maybe you just want to give yourself a little self-love practice and fill your cup up before you start your day tomorrow. Taking a nice deep inhale and exhaling it all out. Beautiful, two more, inhale and out. One more time, inhale and release. So like I said before, you can literally do this practice on your bed, or you can do it on your yoga mat, or on a blanket, whatever feels good for you. And I also invite you, if it feels good for you, you can close your eyes during the whole practice if you want to help you get yourself get into that quiet, calm state. And just listening to my words as we go throughout the poses. So nice and slowly moving to our first position. So we have our pillows here that you can use as a prop if you want at home. You can also grab a blanket and wrap it around yourself as we hold our poses. So coming into child's pose, you can tuck that pillow nice and close to your legs. And you can bring your arms underneath it if you want to support your head. If you have an extra pillow at home, you can also place one behind your bum to support it a little bit, or under and behind your legs and your knees like this, and coming forwards. So whichever one feels good for you, allowing that bum to rest down, you can open your knees as wide as it feels comfortable for you. And just breathing and finding your breath here. So allowing yourself to relax. Maybe switching sides with your head if you want to the other side.
Just feeling nice and supported here from the ground below you. Allowing yourself this time to relax, to give back to your body and your mind. And slowly moving into the next pose, just gonna turn your pillow the opposite way and placing it underneath your hips. You're gonna come forward onto your stomach, supporting your head at the top and just letting it relax into your hands. So taking some pressure off our lower back. can switch sides for your head if you want to. Allowing everything to release into the floor. Feeling fully stable, fully supported. And when it feels good for you, slowly coming up. We're gonna be moving the pillow to one side of our mat and coming onto our back. Keeping those eyes just gently open, not all the way as we get ready for our sleep, coming onto our back. If you have an extra pillow, you can put it behind there, your head. And we're just gonna be bringing our right knee up or whatever knee the pillow is uh, the side the pillow is on and just letting it drop to the side onto the pillow. So if you need to double fold it to support your knee, you can. Arms can come out to the side if you want, palms facing up, or maybe they wanna rest on your stomach or your heart. We hold so much stress in our hips throughout the day and our lives that this is such a nice one to open those up. And as it's supported by the pillow, it allows us to improve our flexibility in our hips, lets us relieve some tension. When you're ready, you can bring that pillow, bending that knee up so it's still there, to the other side of your mat. 
and that same knee is going to draw, you can assist it if you want with your opposite hand, over your body so that it lands on the pillow. Trying to keep those hips stacked on top of each other. Beautiful, and you can always fold that pillow so they can support your knee a little bit more. And your opposite hand can rest on top if you'd like. So just a gentle stretch here. If you feel any pain, just ease off a little bit. Maybe support your knee a little bit more by tucking that pillow underneath. And allowing that bottom leg, the one that's stretched out, to just relax as well. When you're ready, you can bring that knee back, helping it as it comes back to center, stretching that knee down. And now leaving that pillow where it is, we're going to bring the other knee up and then allow it to drop out to the side. Perfect. It's very normal if your mind starts to wander. Usually as our bodies start to relax, it's a little harder to get our minds to relax. So feel free throughout the whole practice to come back to your body or your breath. So maybe you start scanning your body again. Maybe you go through relaxing each muscle in your leg. Or maybe you go back to focusing on your breath. So feeling the air as it moves in and out of your body. Noticing your chest and belly as it raises and comes back down. And then when you're ready, you can guide your knee up to the center, bringing that pillow to the other side. And then with the opposite hand, allowing your knee to come across your body and onto the pillow. Again, you can fold it if you want a little more support. You kind of want to tuck, tuck it into any area that might feel unsupported. If you're at home and you have two pillows, you can prop it up like that as well. Or a bolster will work. And just noticing if you're feeling any tension in your lower back or your hips. Anything that you want to release a little further. Breathe into that area. Beautiful. On your next exhale, bringing that knee up to center and bending both knees so your feet are flat on the floor. You can bring that pillow up behind your neck if you want so your head can rest on it. 
hands can come to the outside of each thigh and your feet are gonna come together as you gently allow your knees to fall to the sides. So if you're at home, you can prop some pillows underneath your knees if you'd like. Or you can let the stretch just guide you with some gravity. When I'm on my back fully, I like to bring my shoulder blades together as well to keep my chest nice and open. But whatever feels good for you as you lay on your spine is right for you in this practice. If you want a little less of an intense stretch, you can walk your feet to the bottom of your mat. Don't worry about doing it perfectly. We're just relaxing all the muscles here. Ready on your next exhale, you can straighten those legs out. Arms can come out to the sides with your palms up and just let those feet relax in whatever way they fall. Maybe they fall out to the side, maybe your knees bend a little bit. And we're just gonna finish here in Shavasana with another body scan. This one, we're not focusing so much on every single muscle, but just seeing from head to toe how we're feeling now. If you're really tired at this point, you can skip this step and go straight to sleep. But if you're curious, you can start at the head and just notice the difference in your mind, in your facial mus muscles your shoulders, your chest, your stomach and your hips. Your legs, your knees, and then your calves and your feet. So you can take as much time as you need in Shavasana. You can head to bed after, you can move on with your day. If you're doing this at lunchtime. And then when you're ready, you can slowly roll onto one side, allowing your arm to come up to support your head. Just resting here for a second. And then when you're ready, using your arm to push yourself up nice and slowly, keeping those eyes closed if it feels good or you can open them. You can tuck that pillow underneath your bum again if you want or stay where you are. And just bringing our hands to heart center or maybe on your heart and just saying thank you to yourself for showing up today for yourself, for filling your cup up first, giving your time, yourself this time to restore and to recover from your day or your week. And I thank you for joining me today as well in this practice. And we 
can bring our hands together and I say namaste.